Hello folks, this is Anime Brian O'Brien returning to my Let's Play of Corpse Party for the PSP, part of my October Halloween Marathon. Welcome to Part 5. Continuing exactly where I left off, I'm at basically the beginning of Chapter 3. Oh, lovely. There's more to find in here. I'm going to leave that alone. Victim's Memoirs 1 out of 5. Otaki Mitsuharu, I want to see you again. A ghost told me. Apparently you were brought here too, but we're in different spaces. Even though we're in the same school, I can't see you. Why did this happen to us? I shouldn't be here. I should be in my math one class at prep school. My sister's going to be really mad at me for skipping. I don't think she'd believe this excuse even if I told her, though. I feel like if I can ever find you, I'll be able to get out of here alive. I don't know why. But if we really are in the same school, then I know there must be a way of getting in contact with you. And I'm going to find it. And then their name tag. Corpse sprawled on the ground, decomposing rapidly. A message has been painstakingly carved into the floorboards next to it, seemingly with fingernails alone. Uh, <laughs> you know what? No, I'll pass. Thank you. Don't want to get myself hooked in some any death crap. Yuka? Big brother, will we ever be able to go home again? Or are we really stuck here until we d die? It's not true, right? Big brother, right? We'll be okay. We'll make it out of here, Yuka. All of us together. There's no need for you to worry. After all, you got me, right? Uh-huh. That's a good girl. Big brother. <coughs> Nerves got the better of you, huh? Poor thing. I have to be strong. I have to swallow my own trepidation. And show you that there's nothing to be afraid of. Somewhere in here, Naomi may also be feeling scared and alone. We need to find her as soon as we can. board. Give me that. Oh, 
Oh, it jumps, huh? That's how it is. Is it just me, or is that board moving? Yeah, it was over on this side a minute ago. Maybe we can ambush it. Let's try to find the exact spot where it was sitting before. Hey, Yuka, can you wait here for just a second? Huh, big brother? No, don't leave me. Don't worry, I'll be right back. I just had a thought, that's all. Well, okay, but you have to come right back, you promise? You bet. Uh, I have really bad short-term memory, so I'm not quite sure if that's the exact spot. <laughs> Hopefully I got it right. Well, it's like I nailed it. Yuka, can you grab that board? Uh-huh, I got it. Acquired loose board. Nicely done. I'd say we're one step closer to getting out of here now. You all set? Come on, let's go. Okay. Actually, wait a second, big brother. Hmm? What's up? Um, this is for you. Oh, what is it? Such a cute little bottle. Well, you see, it's my secret charm. It's full of scented beads. Oh ho, there sure are a lot of them in there. Give it a sniff. Hey, caramel, that smells really good. Isn't it neat? She probably spent her allowance at that stationery shop in town again. See, caramel flavor is special. It protects you from accidents and shields you from danger. That's why I want you to have it. Flavor. This place frightening you? Don't worry. I'll be alright. You should hang on to it yourself. Um, but I really don't mind. You take it. Huh? I just... Don't want... I don't want anything to happen to my big brother. You're a scatterbrain. You, you always get freaked out so easily, and it really scares me. Her whole body is quaking in fear. She really wants me to take it. Yes. Alright, I guess I can borrow it for a little. Thanks. <laughs> take good care of it, okay? Caramel flavor, flavor will keep you safe. But that's not all. You want to know what else it does? It's a secret. Huh? What do you mean by that? If I tell you, you'll get all bothered. So I'm not gonna. Something that would bother me. More than call me a scatterbrain? <laughs> and moving on. Quick, you could grab my hand. It's over. Huh. Yeah, that's logic for you.
Oh, this looks familiar. Skelter remains of a young girl sprawled out across the ground. Looking closely, she seems to be holding a letter in her bony fingers. Yosuke, Yosuke, I'm so sorry. If only I hadn't discovered that stupid charm. There are skulls remaining spilled across the ground, mixed in with the tattered scraps of uniform. Still clinging to the body is a student ID name tag. Hakuro, number three, junior high school, class three five. Mao Kashi Watanai, or Kashi Watani. A junior high student? Good God. Boy. Well, I'm not messing with that fucker. <laughs> oh, it's super dark in here, huh? Whatever. Victim's Memoirs, 2 out of 5. I'm so cold. I feel like the heat is just oozing out of my body, bit by bit. And then there's that sound that just won't stop. What is it? My ears hurt. I can't focus on anything. I feel like there's some thin film surrounding my entire brain. I found a dying message next to one of the corpses earlier. It said there's a hallway somewhere in here that changes its size. Appearing shorter, appearing longer or shorter, pretty much on a whim. I wonder where it is. I hate that I don't feel anything when I see a human body anymore. It sickens me. So, the ghost will stop me, just don't look into its eyes. Why are you killing me? You pay. Well, at least I don't have to worry about him chasing me, I guess. lovely wait it's only like that for that section that's weird Something sparkling on the ground. Pick it up. Unknown key. 
The skeletal remains of a female student are sprawled across the floor. Pinned to what's left of her school uniform is a student ID name tag. St. Mary Ann University High School, Class 2-1, Megumi Suji. Basically, we're at the bathrooms again. Oh, now it's boarded up, huh? Big brother. Hmm? What's up? I have to go potty. Uh, oh, well. The sign says that these are the lavatories, so go ahead. I'll wait for you here. Okay. Yuka, sorry to ask, but which one is it? Pee pee. Gotcha. If anything happens, just yell real loud, okay? Okay. I hate asking such a personal question, but this place is full of surprises. I need to know how long to wait before getting word. Hey, done all right? Big brother, I couldn't go. Huh? I'm almost afraid to ask why. Mm. Holy shit. This place is all torn up. Seriously? Good God. It's hella torn up on this version. You weren't kidding. You really couldn't go. Let's try to find, try to find another bathroom, okay? Can you hold it? Hmm. Be nice if the boys' room were an option, at least. The door is bored up with tightly hammered nails. It won't open. <laughs> Bet you're a nail puller would do something about that. to the infirmary. Oh wow, it's more torn up in this one. I'm so sorry, Seiko. Naomi? The bed's a lot less dusty than I would have imagined. Uh-huh. Big brother, I'm tired. You are? Do you want to take a quick rest before we go then? You rest here with me too, big brother. If 
you insist. It certainly can't hurt to lie down for a bit. I'd be worried leaving you here by yourself anyway. Hmm. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. I wonder what time it is. Feels like it's probably time for dinner with mom. I'm not sure. My watch stopped a while ago. I want to go home. Don't worry. We'll get home. We'll find a way. Once we meet up with Naomi, Yoshiki, and the others, I'm sure we'll come up with something. They're all probably looking into possible escape routes themselves right now. So we better keep up the search too, or else we'll look like slackers by the time they find us. Either way, it'll work out. I know it will. Okay, if you really believe that, then I'll believe it too. Yuka. It'll all work out, huh? We can't even open the windows here, much less get outside. I basically just told her we can circumvent reality. Nothing but empty words, thin as paper. But I guess it's the hope of escape that gives us a reason to keep going. To keep living. All we can do is tell ourselves that we'll find a way out and pray that it'll actually, that it actually happens. Well, where am I? Oh, God, my head is pounding. Oh, it's you. Where the hell did you take me? <laughs> Where where's Shinozaki? <laughs> ah. Legs. I can't stand up. God damn it. Damn, I nodded off. What am I doing? This is no time to be sleeping. Big brother? Uh. Uh, this isn't home. Don't cry, Yuka. It's only going to get a little longer. It's only going to be a little longer, I promise. When we get back, I'll buy you some rock candy, okay? The green kind with the sweet green be red bean flavor? You bet. I know how much you've been craving it. Okay, I'll be good. That girl. Food. It gets her every time. I'm worried about Naomi. I hope she's got someone to keep her company. She no horror or anyone else, really. She may be strong-willed, but she loses heart really quickly if no one's there to keep her grounded. Come on, Yuka, let's go. Can You st you can stand, right? Uh-huh, I'm okay now. If you get tired again, you can always come back. We can always come back. Okay. Oh, great. I'm saving first. Uh, well, 
I guess I can read it first. There's a section of old newspaper on the floor. Read it. Yes. Heavenly Post. Four children abducted and killed. Follow-up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schools have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. A large pair of sewing scissors were found in his possession, and these were confirmed to be the tool used for removing the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to death through the excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. Of these children, one was blank when investigators arrived at the scene of the crime. She was blanked, but somehow blank. The head blank. Pie blank. And blank. Blank, 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 blank. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. Big brother, the children in this picture. Yeah. That's the girl in the red dress. And the boy wearing shorts. He's the one we saw earlier. Someone seems to have made notes in the margins of the article using a red pen. Friends killed by spirits of children. Law, purpose, spread of the curse. Gathering. Children with no tongues. Girl with top of head missing. Girl in red dress. Child victim grudge. Gave shape to school building. Escape. Yep, that makes a whole lot of sense. You know what also makes sense? Saving. I ain't feeling if I try to leave, some shit's gonna go down. I can't take this anymore. Was that Shinozaki's voice? Or that was Shinozaki's voice? Come on, Yuka, let's go. Okay. Eep. What, what is it? The floor is stained with a sticky residue, as if something, or more likely someone, were dragged down the hall. There's a metal tool of some sort lying on the ground here. Pick it up. Hell yeah. Hey, the nail puller. <laughs> back north all the way back to the stairs and up them. Yep, boys bathroom. Whoops. There's a large black stain on the wall. It looks almost organic, but it's not actually wet and there's no indication as to how it got there. Yikes. Doors board with tightly hammered nails. It won't open. Use the nail pulley to remove the boards. Hell yeah. Open sesame, bitch. All right, Yuka. It's all yours. No need for you to hold it in any longer. Good. That's a relief. Jeez. There are no stalls. So what now? Do you have to go really bad? Uh-huh. Well, if you can't hold it any longer, then how about I wait outside and you do what you gotta do? No, I'll keep holding it. 
Okay, but don't strain yourself. When you gotta go, you gotta go after all. Hmm. Huh. Damn, there are no stalls. Well, I'm not reading that. Because it's not part of the walkthrough. <laughs> I don't want to jinx myself to death. Take a picture of me? Sounds like a camera. Really? Ah, Morishige. You're okay. M Mochita? You as well. I'm so relieved to see someone else in class. Yeah. Oh, damn. Go on. Yeah! What? What is this? Is it... Was it... A person? It's an awful sight, isn't it? Seems like pulverized human remains to me. There's a bit of breast meat mixed in, so I'm guessing female. Never thought I'd see something so horrific. Makes me want to throw up. Yeah. At any rate, I'm glad you're alright. Have you found anyone else? I'm afraid I haven't. I only just awoke in here a short while ago, and haven't encountered a single other soul. Same story as us, then. My sister and I haven't come across anyone else yet. So, you haven't seen Mayu, then? No, sorry. Damn it, that's her, too. That poor girl, I'm sure she's in here somewhere, shivering and crying. I need to find her. I need to be with her. I'm certain Suzumoa must be thinking the same thing about you. How about we look for her together? No. If we're split up, that raises the odds of stumbling upon someone else. So I'm going to continue the search by myself. Alright, then how about we designate Classroom 1A as an official rendezvous point? If you find any of the others, tell them we all be gathering there together. There. And we'll do the same. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. Big brother? What is that? Is it throw up? It's nothing. Don't look at it, okay? Come on. Let's get out of here. That boy... He was taking... I'm sure it wasn't what it looked like. Come on, let's go, okay? Okay. I admit, him taking pictures was a little suspicious.
Hmm. So the right wall's been expanded. I guess I'm not going that way. Damn, it's awfully quiet. Sitting on one of the shelves behind the glass door is a tiny key. Unfortunately, the cabinet itself seems to be locked. Use the nail pulley you found to smash the glass? Fuck yeah. The glass door is now in pieces on the floor all around you. Regrettably, the nail puller broke on impact as well. Seems its usefulness has come to an end. Aw, rest in peace, nail puller. Rest in peace. Let's see. So I go to the expanded hallway. The hallway got bigger. Yeah, no shit, I was here before. <laughs> the body of a female student. Attached to her breast pocket is a white student ID name tag. Musashigawa Girls High School, Class 2-3. Mika Naruse. Chihaya, Nana, please be okay. I'm sorry I'm so useless. Exit to second wing. The door is locked. The tiny key seems to fit the lock perfectly. Use it? Hell yeah. Brr, it's freezing out here. A second wing, huh? I can't believe the school is this big. Sure, strange. Uh, are you alright? Uh huh, I'll be fine. Maybe there'll be a faculty bathroom in the second wing. Seems like we could climb this fence pretty easily and get the hell out of here. 
But look at these woods. It's like they go on forever. And they're completely surrounding this whole building. I guess now is not the time to be worrying about that anyway. First things first, let's take care of Yuka's predicament. Come on, let's go. Okay. And I'll be right back to take my own bathroom break. <laughs> and I'm back. Sorry, Yuka, but I had to go too. <laughs> Whoa, this place doesn't feel right at all. The air is really thick. Oh, big brother, my head hurts. It feels like it's going to split open. Mine too, and my ears are ringing. I don't think it's safe to be in here for very long. Do you want to wait back in the main building, Yuka? I definitely get the feeling you'd be safer there. No, please, take me with you. Don't leave me by myself. Don't have much choice, then. All right, no need to worry, okay? I'll stay right by your side. Okay. Yeah, if you're getting a splitting heck in this game, that's not good. I'm saving. There's no telling what's waiting for me in this side. Second Wing Boys Lavatory. No luck in here either. Damn. That's like a cruel joke against her. down. Thank you. 
Artist Art Room. Ah, Big Brother. I see her. I don't recognize the school uniform, but she looks like a living person, at least. We should talk to her. Yeah, we should. Uh, um, we're students from a school called Kisaragi Academy, and uh, we performed this weird ritual with some of my classmates and lost consciousness. And when we woke up, we found ourselves trapped here. Was it the same for you? Her expression isn't changing at all. Something's wrong. The female student is staring intently at the corner of the room, opening and closing her mouth rapidly as if chanting an incantation. Big brother? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently we don't mess with her. you big brother it's somebody else I guess there are a lot of other people who are brought here too uh-huh come on let's follow her to approach you out of nowhere like this. We're students from a school called Kisaragi Academy and... Huh? What's wrong? No! No one believes you! Not a word! Even when we finally meet other living beings, it's like they've completely lost their minds. I guess it really isn't safe to stay here, stay in here for very long. Another earthquake? Eek! Damn it. Shiver. It's okay, it's over. You handled that very well. Here, can you stand? Uh huh. Well, that's interesting.
the door doesn't seem like it even has a lock. Yeah, it's not budging the slightest bit. Its entire surface is layered with protective paper charms. Spiritual confinement, Buddha's guardianship, banishment of malice, charm of exorcism, metaphysical barrier. Why? Or what the hell? Why all the protective seals? Is there something inside? Look, you really shouldn't hold it this long. It's bad for the bladder. Why don't you just go in the corner? How about outside then? In the woods along the walkway. That should be fine, right? Okay. to the first floor. <laughs> Wait, if this is the first floor, but where the fuck does that go? What is that, basement? Eh, no. I'm not gonna let curiosity kill this cat. are playing tricks on me. Eh, whatever. Alright then. Uh... Sounds like some shit's about ready to go down. This is sounding. Okay, it's all you. I'll be waiting right here. Shouldn't have any trouble getting over the fence, right? I think I can do it. If anything happens, yell really loud and I'll come get you, okay? Okay. than I thought. Can I really get over it? Whoopsie. Eek! Get it back. Get it back. Get it back! Huh? Where? It must be nighttime. I must have woken up in the middle of the night again. Probably drank too much juice before bed.
Since I'm up anyway, I guess I'll go wake Big Brother and bug him a little before I go back to sleep. And maybe drink a nice big glass of peach juice, too. Yeah, that sounds good. Get it back. Huh? Get it back. Get it back. What? Get it back. The spirit of a little girl appears right in front of Yuka's face, glowing a bluish white. Where the left eye should be, only a gaping empty socket can be seen. Sounds like scissors. The disquieting snip snip sound grows ever louder as the spirit draws nearer and presents the item she holds in her hand. It's a pair of sewing scissors, and she's brandishing them dangerously close to Yuka's face. The inner blades are dull, rusty, and caked with blood. There's little doubt that the following events are going to be unimaginably excruciating. Get it back. Get me back, my eye. The girl repeats her feel demand over and over again bringing the blades closer and closer and closer each time. I can't move, big brother. Get it to me! No, big bro! Yuka's left eye offers little resistance as the jagged, blood-soaked blades plunge deep within. Jeez. Her vision runs red as waves of unbearable agony trigger unconscious screams of primal, nearly animalistic torment. She instinctively reaches up to pull the scissors out, but just touching them lightly causes new jolts of torturous misery to flow through her body. The sound of a foreign object scraping against her cranium echoes through her mind mercilessly. Not from her eardrums, but directly to her brain. No other experience could possibly have prepared her for this. It's all the suffering of the world consolate coalesced into a single moment. Ugh. The pain grows exponentially worse with each heartbeat, yet the trauma of the experience makes the heartbeat faster, creating an endless cycle. It's not something you can adapt to. It's not something you can ignore. All you can do is thank heaven above when you finally die. Get it back. Get it back. All that and I got a fucking wrong end. I guess more of the story is uh, I was supposed to run from that little shit. Eh, damn it. Well then, I guess that's the end of part five. Well, good thing I saved before that. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Let's Play so far. And Hopefully I'll see you again part six of Corpse Party. This is Anime Brian signing out.